my beautiful people, it's your girl Yana and I'm back today with yet another video. And I really hope you guys are ready because today we're gonna be taking a look at a bunch of videos that you are supposedly not supposed to watch alone. And guess what? I am literally all alone right now. So you already know this video is gonna get wild. If you guys are excited, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. A YouTuber named RJFD gets a phone call from a friend telling him to look at the sky. He goes outside and doesn't really see anything at first. It sounds like thousands of fireworks going off at once, but this is late at night in the middle of winter in small town Michigan, so that doesn't make sense. There were no fireworks planned at all. Then the entire sky changes color. about you guys but to me that looks like just your average thunderstorm even when you put all the loud noises coming from the sky into account it still just kind of looks like a thunderstorm what is that if fireworks is truly not the answer then the only other explanation i have is some sort of strange weather phenomenon let me know if you think you have a logical reason for what's going on here. I don't know if I'm just delusional, but the sky does not look weird to me whatsoever. I feel like everything in this video just points to this being a very basic thunderstorm. I really don't get what the confusion is here. The light in the sky absolutely did not look like fireworks to me. Definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think though. Is this just another storm or is something paranormal going on here? This rocket ride is a famous local attraction at the Luna Park in St. Petersburg, Russia. Here's what the ride looks like normally, and this is what it looks like after a cable frays to the point of snapping clean through. This angle clearly shows how close the riders are to plummeting hundreds of feet below. Look at the top of the ride. That cable to the left is the only thing keeping them alive. The tip of the ride is bending from the pressure and looks ready to come off. Rescue workers are eventually able to get everyone down to safety, though I'm not sure they felt anything but safe while dangling over 200 feet in the air with no end in sight. Initially, I was gonna say, wow, that actually looks like a really fun ride. I've never really seen a ride like that in any amusement parks I've been to, so it actually looked really cool, but then when I saw it literally hanging by a thread, I was like, hell no, I would absolutely never go on this ride ever in my life. They are literally so lucky they got out of there safe. This genuinely could have ended a lot worse than it did. I cannot imagine actually experiencing it. A YouTuber named Wish Avenger and his friends are poking around a dark train tunnel near Lake Odell, Oregon. They are hoping to come across the door to a secret maintenance tunnel to explore, but they have to be quick because these tracks are highly active and on a tight schedule. The group knows they are in trouble when they feel a faint rumbling under their feet. Do you have a Yeah, I do. After running full speed for nearly a minute, Wish Avenger turns around and sees the bright orange glow of a train gaining on them. They know trying to outrun the train at this point is useless, so they scramble for cover on the sides. Wish Avenger dives to the ground at the last second and the train blazes by with only inches to spare. This is genuinely like one of the stupidest things you can do ever. These guys knew that this was a very active train track and they decided to go into the tunnel regardless, which is pretty freaking stupid. They are so unbelievably lucky they were able to find cover before the train came. He manages to not get run over, but he still isn't safe yet. There is barely any space between him and the train and he could get taken out by a wider section of the locomotive at any second. The entire time Wish Avenger isn't sure about the fate of his friends. It's too loud to call out for them so he just has to wait and see. A long time later the train finally passes by and Wish Avenger finds his friends. Together, they hurry out of the tunnel before the next one arrives. Once again, these guys are incredibly lucky to have made it out alive. I just don't understand what you're doing walking on an active train track. That's just wild to me that they even thought to do that. A YouTuber named Jay Breezy works as a security guard at a nursing home in Chicago. No one seemed to believe him when he said that his job was haunted. Then one day, another security officer found out for themselves his co-worker starts to feel a very cold presence in the room. 
but doesn't think much of it at first. He is busy smoothing over his hair when he appears to see something off camera and stops moving. Pay attention to the bottom right hand corner of the screen or you might miss it. There you go. See it? And watch him. He got cold. It got cold. He was like. I was about to write this off as CGI until I saw the security guard's stunned reaction. He like, what the f He stopped. <laughs> he looked like, what the f <laughs> the security guard is genuinely shook right now. He's like, what the hell did I just see out of the corner of my eye? There did seem to be some sort of like shape or mist moving around the screen. And like they mentioned, it's very unlikely for this to be CGI just because of the way that the security guard reacted and like looked in the direction of whatever the mist was. Considering this is in a hospital, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it was haunted, but I definitely do feel like I would need to see a little bit more evidence. It really does appear as though he sees something first in the doorway and then walking down the hall. Let me know if you agree that this is a paranormal experience or if this was somehow faked. Definitely let me know in the comments, do you guys think this is real or fake? Judging by his reaction and the fact that this was filmed in a hospital, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it was real. But you never really know nowadays because literally anything could be fake. A student is walking around the campus California State University in Northridge when she is followed and grabbed by a total stranger. She runs into the Bookstein Hall of Economics and Business and her pursuer follows. Thinking fast, she pulls out her phone and starts attracting as much attention as she can. Go ahead, go ahead and tell everybody what the f you're doing. What the f are you doing? What love? I don't know you. Out of here! Not even a crowd of curious onlookers is enough to distract the man from his single interest as he again attempts to grab her. Watch this part and let me know if you would be brave enough to step in on her behalf. Doing what love? I don't know you. Out of here! The man's hands go from her hair to her neck, and that's when bystanders step in. The 26 year old was arrested and charged for his actions. He has not been sentenced as of this video but he could face up to 13 years. I actually think I need a second to just process the audacity of this man right here. Who the hell do you think you are to just walk up to a random girl like that and just attack her? I am so happy that people intervened and stopped this guy because very clearly he's a freaking lunatic. I'm also very happy he got arrested because that is definitely what he deserved. I mean, just by looking at the guy, you can tell he's not all there. It's genuinely concerning. I really hope that girl is okay. And honestly, I have have to say she is so badass the way she handled everything i really love how she started recording the entire interaction and not only that but she was fully confronting him and standing up for herself you go girl this great dane is walking through the kitchen when a small object crosses its path another orb passes by and immediately gets noticed you don't have to be an animal lover to tell this dog is clearly surprised and uncertain at what it's seeing. The animal freezes in place and then switches into hunting mode, tracking something invisible all throughout the house. I guess the dog could just be reacting to an insect or something, but that doesn't explain one last part, which occurs approximately 1 minute and 23 seconds into the video. This is the exact moment when the headlights of a passing car illuminate a shadowy figure as it runs from left to right. Many people believe this could be a supernatural presence manifesting itself as a shadow person. This combined with the dog's behavior certainly seems to create a strong enough case for the paranormal. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I'm pretty sure that dog was just chasing little insects around the room. I don't know. I just feel like it's more logical to assume that it's an insect, especially because the dog noticed it and tried to chase it. And I know my dog loves chasing bugs around. If he sees a little fly flying around, he's gonna go and try to catch it. I think that's like a pretty common dog thing. As for the headlights at the very end of the clip, those also just look like your average headlights. I actually really couldn't see any sort of figure running across the shadow. So altogether, I would say this clip is debunked. However, I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do these orbs look like insects to you or could they potentially be spirits? The CCTV video was taken after hours at a business in Ogden, Utah. 
All is quiet until a full speed plate dives out of a cabinet and shatters all over the break room floor. A security guard on patrol walks over and simply stares at the broken plate for over 10 full seconds before grabbing another to verify what just happened. Neither one can think of a proper explanation. They check the shelf and it looks fine. Let me know if you have any explanation for this video besides the paranormal. Unless the whole video is fake and someone off camera pulled a string, then I have no idea how that plate could have fallen. It looks like a plate fully flew off the shelf by itself. And clearly it was loud enough to get the attention of the security guard. And when those guys came over, they looked so confused. They were like, what the hell is going on here? And if this is paranormal, I would be very concerned because the spirits are being extremely aggressive by throwing plates around. If I were them, I would honestly call someone over to come and cleanse the space and make sure whatever spirit is in there gets the hell out. 16 year old Kyle Plush calls the Cincinnati Police Department for help after the backseat of his minivan somehow folds over and pins him alive. He is completely trapped and can't do anything with his hands, so he calls 911 using voice activated commands. This is what he tells the dispatcher I'm in help. Sir, help. Help. Police are unable to locate him, and everyone starts to wonder if this was a fake call. Soon they receive a second call, this time much more urgent. Listen to this part and tell me if there is any way that you could think this could be fake. Don't have much time left to tell my mom that I love her if I die. This is not a joke. The desperation in his voice sounds pretty obvious, but somehow the dispatcher allegedly thought this was not real and did not relay important information to patrol cars that could have helped him. The kid literally keeps saying over and over, I need help and this is not a joke. So like what made them not take this seriously? I fully don't understand. What about his tone of voice or the way he's acting makes you think that he's faking this? Because from what I'm hearing, the kid sounds like he's genuinely in need of help. How about you first go over there and make sure that he's actually okay? It's a bit crazy. Six hours later, Kyle Plush was found crushed in the parking lot of his school by his father. Let me know if you think the dispatch operator should be charged or not based on what you've been shown. So the good news is he was actually found by his dad in the parking lot of his school literally six hours after he called for help, which just goes to show that clearly the police had no freaking idea what they were doing. Like six hours to find a kid that is literally sitting in his school parking lot. I feel like you kind of have to be delusional, but honestly in this case, I think they just thought the kid was faking it. And I mean, very clearly he wasn't. So that dispatcher better get in some sort of trouble because it's literally that person's fault that they didn't find this kid for so many hours. Justin White and his friends sneak into the abandoned LA Zoo, which is supposedly one of the most haunted places in the entire city. It's too dark to see much, but they seem to be followed by strange sounds that are getting progressively closer. By the end of the video, it really does seem as though something is right on them. Christ. What the f Hear that? Actually hear that? I just felt something in my arm, like I'm not even joking. Okay. We're leaving. Dunzo. Oh my god, Dunzo. Dunzo. Twigs snap underfoot just behind them. It couldn't have been one of them because everybody in the group is standing completely still on camera when it happens. Oh, and there's another piece of evidence that makes me think this zoo really might be haunted. They managed to capture a soft voice on camera that they later enhanced for clarity. It sounds like a girl's voice and she seems to have a clear warning. Whoa, that fully sounded like someone whispered, get out. I've actually been to this specific zoo in Los Angeles. However, I went during the day when it's a lot less creepy. And to be honest, during the day, I wasn't getting any sort of creepy or paranormal vibe. It was actually a really nice and peaceful area. However, very clearly, these guys had a completely different experience. And honestly, I love their reaction because the moment they heard that sound, they were ready to get the hell out of there. They were like, all right, we're done. We're wrapping it up. It's time to go home and honestly like that is the way it should be the moment crazy stuff starts happening it's time to get the hell out of there a youtuber who goes by Anne posted this video back in 2014 of her sleepwalking activity at night using a webcam she is able to record herself night after night jolting up while still being completely asleep people have debated the authenticity of this video in the comments 
but Anne swears she still does this every night to this day. I genuinely believe this footage is real, because sleepwalking is a well-documented behavior. Anne says she finds the footage hilarious, but there's something certainly chilling about that blank stare directly into the camera, as she's 100% asleep. It's absolutely crazy to me that she is fully asleep in those videos because her eyes are wide open, but I do know that some people definitely sleepwalk and do some crazy stuff in their sleep. In hindsight, this video is pretty freaking hilarious. However, I feel like sleeping next to someone that does this would definitely be really terrifying. I mean, can you imagine waking up in the middle of the night and seeing someone just stare into nothingness? It's safe to say I'd be pretty freaking concerned. But alright you guys, we finally made it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Definitely let me know in the comments which video stood out to you the most. That broken amusement park ride really, really terrified me. Especially because I personally love going on roller coasters and amusement park rides. And I definitely feel like after seeing that video, I'm gonna be a little more cautious. But alright you guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. People, it's your girl Yana and I'm back today with yet another video and you guys I am super excited for today's video because you and I are gonna be taking a look at a bunch of videos that are Supposedly going to make us breathe manually like apparently that is how scary some of these videos are So if you guys are ready, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and without further ado Let's get into the video imagine recording a selfie video after an emergency landing in the Pacific Ocean That's what this pilot did in August of 2019 when two aircrafts were taking part in an aerial photo shoot. The video captures the aftermath of an emergency landing in Half Moon Bay near San Francisco. One of the planes, a single engine Beechcraft Bonanza, malfunctioned, losing power. Video footage from above caught the landing, which was an admirably safe one. I literally cannot imagine experiencing something like this, especially as someone who's a nervous flyer to begin with. It looks like the pilot was able to safely land onto the water and actually even ended up taking a selfie video as the plane was sinking which is honestly kind of iconic the plane can be seen in the video going bottoms up sinking nose first into the ocean the pair, in fairly good spirits all things considered, manage their best to stay afloat although David notes the water is quite cold the water is a little bit cold but we're alright, I set it down real easy no, we're good. Did everything right? Thankfully overhead, his fellow pilots sent Mayday calls to the Coast Guard, alerting them to the incident. Still, the pair were risking hypothermia in cold water for around 40 minutes by the time a Coast Guard helicopter that was on a training mission arrived. David continued filming as they were being airlifted out of there, although they certainly were lucky. They didn't make it out pain-free while waiting. They'd been repeatedly stung by jellyfish. So they actually had to wait up to 40 minutes in this really cold water to get rescued. And it looks like while they were waiting, they ended up getting stung by a bunch of jellyfish. Now let me tell you, I have been stung by a jellyfish and it is no fun. It burns, okay? I'm honestly very impressed with their positive attitude and outlook on this entire incident. I feel like I would have been freaking out a lot more than they were. And honestly, that's probably why they made it out safe is because they kept their composure. So good for them. Published to YouTube in December of 2019, Brandon Gross writes, My friend Danielle took me into one of the craziest caves I've ever seen. I'm very bad with tight spaces and decided to face my fears. Would he live to regret it? The footage follows the pair squeezing into a tight slot. Holding onto a rope, they descend into what can only be a claustrophobic nightmare. As the underground cave gets tighter and more suffocating by the minute, the cave widens and narrows, but at one point, Brandon notes that the space into which he intends to squeeze is only as wide as the length of his foot. Slithering through the caves, they finally reach the bottom cavern. When they start to continue exploring the claustrophobic corners, 
Brandon experiences a brief panic attack but continues on, seeing his friend Danielle wriggle ahead as she navigates further restrictive spaces would make anyone squirm, and squirm Brandon does but he manages to make his way back to the light. When at last Brandon squeezes his way out of the hole, he celebrates being free from that claustrophobic nightmare. When I tell you, you will absolutely never catch me cave diving, I mean it. I honestly don't even get the point or the enjoyment in doing this. You're putting yourself in an insane amount of danger. You could get stuck and run out of oxygen so easily. I just feel like it is not worth it for the experience. But I mean, shout out to these guys, I guess, for like having the courage to do it. Some of the crevices that they were squeezing through just looked way too small for anyone to fit through. I feel like getting a panic attack in a place like that would just be my worst freaking nightmare. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would ever try out cave diving. Are you heading out to a seaside restaurant tonight? You might want to reconsider. Published to YouTube by Ed Hat in March of 2014, they wrote, Jill Freeland, the artist and videographer, was having breakfast this morning at Moby Dick's with her family and got a little more sea salt than was on the menu. The footage shows the restaurant overlooking a stormy grey sea. While the customers await their meal, they helplessly watch as the waves take on a life of their own. They probably think they're safe inside, but boy are they wrong. These people are literally just trying to have a peaceful lunch on the seaside, and clearly a humongous wave ruined it all for them. I am surprised water got into the restaurant because I would have expected it to like be sealed. To be honest with you, I don't really know what I'm talking about, so I could be wrong. <laughs> The water crashes against the window and glass shatters as the spectators scream. Someone calmly says, time to go, and the customers are told to leave the restaurant, which they do without argument. It appears that no one was hurt in the incident, but they certainly saw firsthand how indifferent Mother Nature is to brunch. So it looks like the reason that the water ended up getting into the restaurant is because the force was so strong that it ended up shattering the windows. Honestly, if something like that happened to me, I would be so so annoyed. Baby monitors sometimes capture that which we don't even know is there. This creepy clip was posted to r slash ghosts by zealous ideal call 53. It shows a monitor placed in a child's bedroom. The baby is playing while her guardian appears to be on her phone. All is normal until you turn up the sound. A growl of a voice snarls help me three times in a row at the beginning of the video. Neither the baby nor the young woman in the video appears to hear the voice. Whoa, that was a very clear voice. That's kind of terrifying because of where the hell was that coming from? And also, why didn't the mom or the baby notice it? Is it crossed wires with a nearby baby monitor? Did someone hack the monitor's sound? Or is it an EVP capturing someone beyond crying out for help? The Redditor explains in the comments that this isn't the only strange occurrence in their house and that paranormal events have regularly been happening since she was pregnant. The Redditor writes, We've had another incident with her nanny cam and seeing a black shadow near her, an orb, and her suddenly waking up screaming. I've had issues in my own room with the feeling of someone walking watching me, breathing on my neck, severe night terrors, and missing items that suddenly return. Does this give more credence to the presence of a paranormal entity? My answer is yes. Given that they've already had a ton of paranormal activity in the house, and the fact that they've seen both shadows and orbs, and felt like they've been watched, very clearly something is going on in this house. I guess someone could have hacked the nanny cam and that's where the noises were coming from, but still that wouldn't explain all the other paranormal activity that they experienced. If I were this family, I would definitely consider moving. Better safe than sorry. This video proves that saying couldn't be more true. True. A mother in Cork, Ireland was threatened via letter by a former work colleague. In fact, he was watching her, and CCTV footage caught her terrifying ordeal on camera. After someone had painted her car tires pink and put X's and O's on the car's windows, as well as the message, I win. 
the homeowner, Una Ring, installed a CCTV camera outside her home. It captured her work colleague posting a menacing letter to the windshield of her car. What it said was so disturbing, I can't say it here. Thankfully, a civilian police force known as Guardians of the Peace of Ireland were made aware of the lurker's threats and were surveilling Una's home. Is this man literally a child? Why is he leaving notes on her car? Clearly, this guy has something wrong with him because of why are you stalking and bothering this poor woman? What followed was the lurker's escalation. He came around Una's with a crowbar in hand and was caught on camera approaching her property. He was also discovered to be in possession of rope and duct tape. The suspect was confronted by the protectors and was taken into custody. Una says she owes her life to them. The creep was given five years behind bars for his actions. That escalated very quickly. Out of nowhere, he came around the corner holding a freaking crowbar. I'm assuming he was either going to destroy her car or like break into her house. Either way, he was definitely not gonna do anything good. So thankfully, the officers inter intervened just in time and arrested him and it looks like he's gonna be spending some time behind bars which honestly he definitely deserves because of what the hell was that when performing at the theater more often than not you hope to entertain but some audience are not very lively originally published by youtuber phil koch this footage shows a paranormal investigation while exploring a haunted theater phil kicks back in his theater seat Sitting alone in the dark room, a wide shot shows no one in the aisle behind Phil. The row is entirely empty. Little does he know he's in for more than a show. Watch the seat to his left behind him. While sitting there staring forward, the seat shudders back and forth as if someone pushed it down to sit but then decided against it. Although he couldn't have seen the movement, the sound sends Phil fleeing the scene, likely without any desire for an encore. Perhaps this entire theater is reserved for the passed on, and he and his paranormal team disturbed a packed house. I've actually heard of a lot of theaters being haunted. We actually have a few haunted theaters in Toronto. I don't really know what it is about theaters, but a lot of them do have a lot of crazy paranormal activity. The way that chair seat pulled down, it fully looked like someone was trying to sit in the seat. It's honestly really scary. But another investigation by Phil is gaining much traction in the Spanish-speaking community. While investigating, this door opens right in front of him and people are claiming to see this figure. It's still back here again. And we'll take a look. Are you kidding me? That is so freaking traumatizing. I truly have never seen a creature like that in my entire life. I don't know if that is some sort of demon or some sort of like skinwalker thing, but it looks really freaking terrifying. However, it is hard to tell if the creature in the picture is the creature that was behind the door. I do think the footage is a bit too dark to be able to tell. Either way though, that door just swinging open by itself was absolutely insane. I bet that guy was shook for a while after that. We may have just discovered this soundtrack to your nightmares published to youtube by column may in june of 2019 this clip shows a young man in a prison cell no context given he speaks to the camera and in the midst of his monologue he gives a strange otherworldly shriek like a velociraptor <laughs> Why? Well, YouTubers have a wealth of hypotheses. For example, Lord Woody thinks that the man is sucking the soul out of the cameraman. I just know if I were in this situation, I'd be getting the heck out of there. I'm not sure about him sucking the soul out of the cameraman, but he's definitely doing something, I'll tell you that. I just have no freaking clue what it is. He definitely did sound like a bit of a dinosaur when he made that noise. I don't know, out of context, it's definitely a little bit weird, like what the hell is he doing? Honestly, I think he's just being weird. I don't think there's anything like paranormal going on here. This video follows a motorcyclist minding his own business on the open road. Wearing a GoPro, he manages to capture a white truck in front of him, nothing out of the ordinary. 
Ahead, the truck pulls over to the side of the road. This too appears innocent enough, but after passing the white truck and later taking a turn onto a side street, the biker returns to the main road, and the same white truck now a ways ahead pulls over again, letting him pass a second time. The biker starts to wonder what's going on. Even more worrisome, he thinks the truck is following him. He suspects the driver might be trying to record his license plate to report him for something. Although he says he hasn't done anything to report, he again pulls over at an intersection and attempts to wait out the suspect who has stopped as well. The biker says the man in the truck is attempting to wave him on. After a brief face off, the biker turns to the left, noting the guy's plate number and saying he was taking pictures of him. While the video doesn't come to any concrete conclusion about what the white truck wanted. The biker suspects that he's dealt with the same man before. Initially, I was very concerned about why the white truck was following the biker, but since he was trying to record him and take pictures of him, I am going to go ahead and assume that maybe he was going to report him to the police, either for the bike being too loud or just for his driving, which honestly, whoever is in that white truck is definitely being a big Karen. Like, it's not that serious. Why are you literally following this guy around the entire neighborhood? Especially because he seems to be driving completely fine, like he's not speeding or anything. So just like mind your own freaking business, I don't know. What lurks in your alley in the middle of the night? This video may surprise you. Published to YouTube by Taslock in March of 2021, the security footage was recorded on the 30th of December 2020 at around 4 in the morning. An empty road with a few motorcycles and bicycles parked along each side still in the darkness, at least for the moment. Suddenly, someone invisible decides to take this bike out for a spin. The motorcycle abruptly pulls out into the road, turning in place. At one point, it slows in its turning, then jerks forward and continues in its path before falling over on the side in the middle of the road. Could this just be something mechanical malfunctioning in the bike? Or did a ghost realize he didn't have enough momentum mid-launch? I don't think we've ever seen a ghost trying to operate a motor vehicle. And I mean, clearly, they're not very good at it. But it fully looks like an invisible person just sat on the bike, started it, and tried to drive it around. I guess it could have been some sort of camera a glitch or it could have been edited definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think this video reminds every paranormal explorer to be always on their guard the redditor is driving down a dirt road at night in what appears to be the boonies with no lights around apart from a faint distant glow and yet in the middle of nowhere they come upon a rundown white house he spotlights its empty and broken windows, nothing else, that is, until he zooms in on a center window. Here appears a white hooded figure without discernible features. The realization of what they're seeing scares them enough to drop their camera and drive away. He also shares some still photos with varying exposures that he took from the clip. What do you see in the Rorschach ink blot? This is only a test. I mean, to me, that fully looks like a person standing in that window. Now, it can either be a ghost or like an actual person just crashing in the house. I guess there's really no way for us to find out. Either way, that picture was really scary. It honestly didn't even look like a person. It looked more like some sort of like a ghost or skinwalker. And if that's the case, then I'm really glad they got the hell out of there. But all right, you guys, we finally made it to the end of this video. Definitely let me know in the comments which clip scared you the most. I have to admit that clip from the haunted theater is definitely gonna stick with me because whatever creature was behind that door was truly terrifying. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye. beautiful people it's your girl Yana and I'm back today with yet another video and I am really looking forward to today's video because we're gonna be taking a look at a bunch of videos that are supposedly so scary we're gonna wish we never watched them to begin with so if you guys are ready don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and without further ado let's get into the video while ghost hunting this cemetery youtuber Samal shadow hunter encounters the lady in white take a look if you dare
looks like there's something walking across the frame. I can't really tell what it is though. I would say it more so looks like an orb that is just moving across the screen. You can see it a bit more clearly with the contrast turned up. Is this the lady in white? I think it very well could be, but it could also be your average ghost. This is a cemetery after all. I don't know where they're getting the whole lady in white thing because it doesn't look like a lady in white. If anything, to me, it looks like a man walking across the screen. And obviously the fact that this took place in a cemetery, I mean, I don't doubt that there's paranormal activity there. I'm just really not too sure about this one. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. The video associated with this thumbnail was originally uploaded by the Haunting of Sunshine Girl Network. The video begins with the girl's mother screaming in terror after seeing her own eyes in the mirror. Help! Okay, I can hear my mom. She's freaking out. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> mom, what? You think you what? what? My eyes! I don't see anything. Mom, look at me. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's there. They don't appear abnormal until... Nothing's there. <laughs> Just look. What do you mean? <sighs> Mom! Oh my Her mom's eyes are literally jet black in the mirror, but when she turns around to look at the camera, they look completely normal. I have no idea what the hell is going on here, but it's definitely scary. There, it's not there. It's only in the mirror. It's only in the mirror, I think. Maybe this mirror is haunted, or maybe it shows true things that our reality cannot reveal. Okay, okay we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> What was that? Apparently, they'd seen this creature outside their home before. I don't know for sure what it is, but it looks like a demon to me. And it's my opinion that it might be too late for the mother because it seems that she's possessed. I am starting to think that it is a little bit of a skit just because of everything that happened. I honestly have no idea what kind of creature appeared behind her, but that thing looked really freaking horrifying. If I looked in the mirror and I saw something like that behind me, I think I would actually lose my freaking mind. YouTuber Thiago Faracao sets out to rendezvous with the ghost bride in this haunted house, but he won't find her there. Licença. Aonde você está, Cecília? Eu peço que você apareça aqui para mim. The moment that he told her to show herself, he hears an object being thrown in the other room. I would say that is definitely a sign for you to get the hell out of there. I will never understand how some people are brave enough to explore these abandoned, haunted places completely alone. Are you not terrified out of your mind? Because I know I would be. Cecilia is shy at first, but then this happens. Where are you? Where are you? Ué? Que foi? Ela tá ali. Você viu ela? Ela tá ali. It seems she was outside wandering the fields all along. Cecília. Cara do céu. Vem dali, ó, vem dali. Whoever Cecilia is, I'm pretty sure she wants them to get the hell out of there. Also, why is she wandering the field in the middle of the night? That's a little bit weird, don't you think? Who is Cecilia? And what does she want from the living? I think perhaps she is trapped reliving what was supposed to be her special day. I mean, clearly Cecilia's special day wasn't that special if she decided to just stick around and scream her head off in a field. While filming a wedge of cranes in the forest, Redditor TTU's sister captures something that'll give you pause. Listen closely. Did you hear the whisper? The Redditor says that their sister noticed the whisper after watching the video back and noted that it may even be in another language. Their sister was also alone in the forest and it was totally quiet at that moment. Many in the comments are hearing different things. Others in the comments think the sound may simply be environmental echoes, but I don't know. 
This sounds legit creepy to me. I think I'll be staying out of forests for a while. I really highly doubt that that was some sort of environmental echo. It fully sounded like someone was whispering and she claims that she was in that forest completely alone. I am literally getting the chills right now because if she was alone in that forest, then where the hell did that whisper come from? YouTube team Paranormal Quest captures plenty of paranormal activity during their investigation of Murray Station Homestead. Some while the home is empty. This is what their cameras capture six minutes after they leave. These sounds continue while growing progressively louder. All of these clips were apparently recorded after they had left the house. So the house is supposed to be completely empty. And if that's the case, then what the hell are all those noises? And not to mention the motion detector going off. Yeah, this place is definitely haunted. When the guys return, this happens. Hey, listen to this. What am I listening for? Thank you. It said, hey, listen to this. In my opinion, there's definitely something inside Murray's station homestead, and it's highly communicative. The sheer amount of paranormal activity that happened in all of these clips is just insane. It also looks like the spirits in this house are really eager to communicate. The spirits were even telling them to listen and to focus, so clearly they had something to say. But hey, at least they got some really crazy paranormal footage. YouTube team Toppy returns to the abandoned grave of a child named Shira. Using instrumental transcommunication, they speak with the child and receive some interesting responses. Шура, скажи, привязана ли душа усопшего к конкретному месту? When asked why her relatives don't visit her grave, Shira gives an understanding answer. Почему тебя не навещают родственники? Why is the voice that's coming through so freaking creepy? I'm getting like a really bad eerie vibe from this. What's especially freaking me out here is the fact that she is responding to the exact questions that they're asking. So it's like they're fully having a conversation with her spirit. And they find even in passing, souls are looking for peace. Твоя душа упокоена? They then clean up Shira's grave, leaving her resting place well tended to. This transcommunication is touching to me. It seems Shira has wisdom beyond her years and I hope her young soul is able to find peace soon. I really do think considering that they were going to the graveyard to try and talk to her, it's really nice of them to have cleaned up her grave and left it looking nice. And I mean, very clearly they managed to get through and speak to her and even have a full on conversation. This just goes to show that not all ghosts and not all spirits are bad and scary. There are some nice ones out there. A local color supply store in Whitchurch has detected some paranormal activity. YouTube team Spire Paranormal Group shares security footage of a ghostly EVP and objects moving. Listen closely. <laughs> if that was truly a ghost, then he sounds like an aggressive one. This EVP was also captured on a second camera. <laughs> Now that's quite terrifying, but even more scary is all the poltergeist activity captured. The hell was that? After the landline crashes to the ground, they hear what sounds like footsteps upstairs. Oh, my God. 
Well, they may be laughing. I'd be crying in fear at those crystal clear footsteps. Something is haunting this store and it sounds angry. Whatever spirit is in this store, they're extremely aggressive and extremely angry. I can't believe this ghost fully ripped out and threw their freaking landline onto the ground. YouTuber Adam Mark Explores heads to Ireland where he investigates an abandoned house whose owner passed away inside and he finds evidence that indicates something terrifying happened here. We are going to do a bit of an investigation, see what we can find, see if anyone is still lurking within these walls. You never know guys, these are old houses, even if it's... Oh, look, how, look at them. Deep scratches in the banister. Where the hell did those scratches come from? Those are some really deep scratches. A cat did not do that. That was something else, something a lot bigger. Maybe have a look in this room. Maybe a lot of activity when the people are alive in here. They sound I'm agitated. I'm agitated. What went on here? Adam receives a message from the spirit and then hears footsteps. I'm very lonely here. I bet you are, darling. I bet you are. Just did nothing. Later, he receives simultaneous responses through the necrophonic and K2 meter. Eric. Quite a lot of voices there. K2's going off. Can you tell me if this is Patrick or Bridget? Okay, this is really crazy. So it looks like the spirits are coming through on the app. And literally, as soon as he started talking to them, he started hearing footsteps in the other room. It's like the more that you talk to the spirits, the more active they become. Is that you over by the dresser? By the black device? And he's told exactly why. Protecting me from? The man. Adam is being warned pretty explicitly that it's time to go. I believe there's an evil male spirit here that both Patty and Bridget are trying to protect him from. If I were Adam, I'd heed their warnings. I definitely think that the two female spirits were trying to warn him about the really negative male spirit in the house. And it looks like these spirits were very adamant that he should get out of there. So I'm really hoping that that's exactly what he did for his own good. Because I think he was potentially dealing with a very scary entity in that house. It's better for you to just get the hell out of there. In search of the shaman tree of the Skelva tribe, YouTuber Erwin Saunders finds so much more. Just as we were leaving, uh, assuming they're not there, they were there because well, you can see it up on the. I'm not staring at him now, but is he still? He is still there, is he? Yeah. 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 So he goes when I look up. <laughs> After the pixie escapes, Erwin and his son Tom spot another one peeking out from behind a mossy log. It looks like they're trying to catch little gnomes hiding in the forest, and they're literally so itty bitty tiny. Stop, that is so adorable. The pixies seem to be as curious about them as they are of the pixies. Following us a little bit, are hoping that they're not gonna go far away from their camp and they'll just uh, leave us alone because I don't really want them chasing us all across the uh, woods. They're even spying from above when the guys are unaware. I'm just thinking of you. Oh yeah. <laughs> they capture several pixies going about their business. Don't they look so freaking cute and tiny? I really wish garden pixies existed. This feels like it's straight out of a Disney movie. It just feels super magical. And before leaving the magical forest, the guys get one last glimpse near what appears to be a pixie home. Uh, it's a bit annoying. They're not leaving us alone, so the idea, obviously, Tom's uh, plan wasn't quite as good as it. Well, it didn't sound that My good. Joke that I made and then you took seriously. Yet another adventure into this magical realm of Erwin Saunders, where fantasy meets reality. Whether or not this is CGI. 
It's my opinion that this is what true wonder is made of. I do think it is definitely safe to assume that this is CGI, but regardless, it is so freaking amazing. I had so much fun watching that. Even though I know they're fake, the pixies look so freaking cute. And honestly, it's such a fun idea and they did a really good job executing it. I actually really, really loved this. 10 out of 10. YouTube team Ghost Theory enters an abandoned home. So terrifying that they are forced to quit their investigation early. As they begin their haunted tour, they see a shadow. I swear I just saw a shadow then. Really? Yeah. Hello? I guess it was nothing, but later they hear more noise. Not take it off. Is it you? That was the wire. Could be that their paranoia is so heightened that they're just scaring themselves, or maybe not. Then maybe we can have a conversation with you. Can you make a noise in a room? Initially, I also thought that they were being a little bit paranoid and maybe they were just psyching each other out But I guess I was wrong because as soon as they started asking for signs a lot of paranormal activity started happening I can almost guarantee these guys are not in there alone Then their REM pod is triggered as they go on in search of it. They hear voices outside They decide to leave. They don't want to be cornered in this building by other people or by ghosts. There's just nobody here. Which just makes it even more weird. Were they actually people? I agree that any paranormal team should put their safety first, whether their assailants are human or demon. So with this one, it turns out we're not sure if these were actual people or spirits that they were hearing. I can't lie to you, at one point it fully sounded like there was actual people outside of the house. But I mean, they went up to the window and it looked like no one was out there. So I guess we'll never have an answer as to what the hell those noises were, which definitely makes it 10 times more creepy. Could you spend the night locked in a haunted castle? YouTube team Omar Gosh TV tries to get through the night and it doesn't end well. Two, three. Let me know if you see anything behind me. What about over here? Oh my God. I thought I saw a man standing behind me. Something definitely was standing behind him, but I'm not so sure it was a man. Oh, hell no. <laughs> What was that thing? I think it may have been a shadow figure, but it's hard to tell. All I know is, that thing is watching. It did take me a little bit to realize, but it totally looked like someone was standing behind him in that hallway. Honestly, it's more of like a tunnel than a hallway, but either way, I freaking hated that. That looked like a really tall and really dark figure, and it was just standing way too close behind him. This one definitely takes the cake for the scariest so far, because let me tell you, your girl is scared. I believe the historic Jefferson Hotel is haunted. I say that without a doubt, and here's even more evidence to convince you. The official YouTube channel for the hotel shares this security footage as additional proof of the place's reputation. Watch the left hand wall toward the middle of the hallway. You're gonna see something peer out right there and then go down. Did you see it? An apparition appears to peer out before dropping lower and disappearing back into the wall. Here it is again. Right here. Here's out. This happened around 4 in the morning. The hotel manager says there were no guests staying downstairs, and after reviewing the footage throughout the night, he found no one entered that room. I definitely 
definitely thought that was just a hotel guest that decided to like peek their head through the door for some reason. But I guess it turned out that absolutely no people were staying on that floor that night and they didn't see anyone enter or leave that room. So who the freaking hell was that? And why were they peeking their head out of that door? And also, what is it with hotels always being haunted? Are there any non-haunted hotels in this world? I would love to know. This house is said to be haunted by a djinn. And the minute YouTuber Han Kardashian and his team step inside, they encounter the paranormal. Rüzgar mı çıktı? Oğlum rüzgar mı çıktı? Dinleyelim, hadi dinleyelim, dur. O ne baylan? Bir şey yok. Something unseen just ran off. They head to the roof of the house where they heard the noise, and that's when they spot her. They race up the hill to meet her and find she's disappeared. Later, as they're heading to their car, they see her again. Why are they not running into their car and starting it and driving the hell out of there? I do not understand why they're just sticking around and continuing to record her. Please get the freaking hell out of there. This gin is after something. And I wouldn't want to be Han Kardashian or his team because I think it's after them. This is definitely another one of those where it's most likely a skit. But either way, the concept is definitely creepy. However, if that was me, I feel like I would be getting the hell out of there a lot quicker than they did. I feel like they were taking their sweet time with getting into the car and stuff. But hey, at least they got some terrifying footage. Captured on camera by YouTuber Hassan Barbar in a cave. The sound this gin's making is what a younger brother might do to annoy you. The closer we get to this gin, the scarier it is. After a while, it starts coming toward him. Later, it seems to have abandoned its cloak and transformed itself into a rock. I just need a moment to process this before we continue. You're telling me this demon turned into a rock? Like it turned into a boulder. What the hell is going on right now? There is actually no way in hell I am seeing any of this correctly. I honestly don't even know what to say. Quite literally nothing except what the hell is going on here. How did he turn into a rock? What? Yani itla. This is one of the strangest Jin videos I've ever seen. I don't know what just happened here, but I feel like we've witnessed a metamorphosis. I also have no freaking idea what I just witnessed. I don't think we've ever seen a ghost turn into a rock on this channel, so I guess there's a first for everything. I actually genuinely have no words for this. Like, this was just insane. My mind is blown. Ohio's most haunted school is teaching the YouTube team, Hauntings of Ohio, a lesson. And it seems like the phantom teachers are hanging just over their shoulders. What the f is that? I definitely heard that too. Later, as they attempt to communicate with the spirits through a spirit box, they get an intelligent response. Is that you? It's me. And during an essay session, they receive another intelligent response. Is there something here dangerous? I'm still here. I don't know about you, but all of these sounds and responses are enough 
to sell me that this school is seriously haunted. And that's enough to give me electrifying chills. What's really scary considering that they're in a school is the fact that the spirits' voices sound really young. I'm assuming that a lot of the spirits that they were communicating with in the school were past students because one of them even said, I'm still here. So clearly some of them decided to stick around and stay in the school. But all right, you guys, we finally made it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to smash the like button button and subscribe. Let me know in the comments which video freaked you out the most. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi my beautiful people, it's your girl Yana and I'm back today with yet another video. And I am so excited for today's video because we're gonna be taking a look at a bunch of creatures that were accidentally caught on camera. You already know this video is bound to get creepy, so if you guys are ready, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. This video was taken in Akron, Ohio by two teenagers while driving past a cemetery on their work break. So Getting down there. It's super weird. A ghoulish dark figure is surrounded by fresh dirt as it apparently is digging up something in the cemetery, possibly its next meal. The stunned friends stop to watch it for a while longer before driving off and uploading the video later. They have no idea what it could be and neither do I. I was also unable to find any news stories of grave disturbances in Akron further making me believe this may not have happened. Then again, maybe this incident was buried by the local authorities for whatever reason. Whatever that thing is digging up that dirt in the graveyard, I can absolutely guarantee you that is not human. You can definitely tell by the way that it's moving and digging up the dirt that it's very animalistic. I just feel like a human being would use a shovel or some kind of tool to dig up that much dirt, and this person is just digging it up with their bare hands. It also is possible that they just to witness someone robbing a grave, in which case that is totally messed up and I really hope they get caught. This video was taken in the Sequoia National Forest in Northern California by police trying to bust growers. They left the cameras out in a field to try and catch the grow operators on tape, but they find something much more unexpected instead. A pair of hairy red arms flips the camera over without warning and quickly buries it under a bunch of leaves. Everything from an escaped orangutan to Bigfoot itself has been proposed, though nothing has been confirmed. I have no idea what it is either. Considering that the camera was left in the middle of the woods, I wouldn't be surprised if it was some sort of animal. The fur of the animal definitely did look like some kind of bear or something. I'm not sure if I'm personally a believer of Bigfoot. Let me know in the comments if you guys are. So to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure this is just a bear. A car makes its way across an open field when it suddenly stops waiting for something. Moments later, this creature comes crawling through the tall grass. The video itself does not look like computer-generated special effects, but it could be a person in a costume. Look closely at its back legs and you will see a well-developed heel, meaning that this creature does not normally crawl on all fours. It could be a person dressed in a costume, but then again, maybe it is a humanoid with a damaged foot that is now forced to crawl. The car quickly reverses and gets out of there fast, which is something I definitely would do too. We may never know if this video is a legitimate accidental sighting or staged, but I'd like to hear your best guess. Just judging from the length of their torso, I find it really hard to believe that this is a human being. It is definitely giving me a weird Slenderman vibe. Like if Slenderman got rid of his suit and just decided to crawl on all fours. Also, I am very concerned that this is in the middle of nowhere in the dark. I mean, I can't imagine how terrified I would be in this situation. I know whoever took that video is very happy they got the hell out of there. Many claim to see a hidden monster in this YouTube video from Australia. Look closely and you'll see what appears to be the top half of a tall furry creature standing among the trees. Some people even claim to see a second similar creature in the bottom right hand corner. Well, I do see what they are talking about. This also looks like it could just be the blackened center of a rotten tree, but I'm just not sure. Let me know what you think this is, and if you believe there is any possibility 
of this being the legendary Australian Bigfoot. Considering the fact that you can see that whatever it is is not moving, I really do think it is safer to assume that it is some sort of tree or plant or something like that. Let's be real, he is in a forest. There's gonna be so many things in the background of his videos. All sorts of different plants and colors and textures. I mean, I'm sure something is bound to end up looking really creepy in the background. I just feel like if it was Bigfoot, you would see it moving and it was not moving whatsoever. I mean, listen, you never really know. Richard Griebnick recorded this creature from inside his home over the summer of 2017. He is on the phone calling a friend named Mike for help while a large, hunched over white humanoid prowls around his backyard. The gargoyle, as Richard describes it, seems to sniff the air from time to time, almost as if it can detect someone's presence nearby. It certainly has the build of a predator, but for some reason it seems hesitant to move forward. If you were wondering why Richard would call his friend instead of the police, I was thinking the same question. But soon it becomes clear that Mike knows how to handle this situation better than anyone. I definitely had the exact same question. I was like, why are you not calling the freaking police? But I guess sometimes the moral support of a friend is exactly what you need. Me personally though, I would definitely be panicking at this point. <laughs> The humanoid creature convulses as Mike unleashes a string of words in an ancient sounding language I have never heard before. If you recognize what is being said here and can translate, please let me know. After Mike is finished speaking, the creature sulks off into the forest where it came from. The event looks very convincing, but I wish that Richard could have zoomed in a little more so we could have gotten a closer look. If this is real though, then he was probably way too scared to worry about camera work. So it looks like the friend said some sort of prayer over the phone that made the creature start backing up into the forest, which definitely confirms to me that this thing was not human whatsoever. Also, the way that he started convulsing when they started saying the words was really freaking creepy and even though he retreated into the woods i would still be a very careful because he could be hiding somewhere in those woods a youtuber named mbj reports has a pest in his yard that has been bothering his dogs so he decides to stick a garden hose down into the ground and flood it out of its den now they are waiting with a net to catch the pest and dispose of it if necessary it isn't long before he sees two glowing eyes appear out of a second hole in the distance. This appears to be no ordinary pest, but rather a monster instead. It's something. I don't know what that is. It remains frozen in the beam of the flashlight for a while, hoping that he will leave it alone. Then the creature drops back into the ground below with a shriek. MBJ Report has had enough and decides to pull the creature up by its tail. He pulls back a red hand with a deep cut, which I unfortunately can't show here and the video ends. I notice that the creature doesn't really move its limbs at all and possibly looks like a toy, though I can be wrong. Even still, that doesn't explain the glowing red eyes, though. The glowing red eyes are so freaking creepy. I do know that certain animals' eyes do glow in the dark, but I don't know if any of them glow red. Also, can we talk about the shriek that it made before it ran back into the ground? I have definitely never heard a shriek like that in my life. Let me know in the comments what you guys think this could be. And if it was in your backyard, would you get rid of it? A YouTuber named Battery Phil is exploring a cave in Jamestown, Arkansas, and taking a random video with a small keychain video camera. His friend once told him that he had seen a reptilian face suddenly appear in front of him well down here before, but Battery Phil doesn't exactly believe him. So imagine his surprise when he looked at this video much later and saw this creature looking straight at him. Look closely and you can make out the semi-intelligent gaze of a humanoid creature with a single brown eye, a flat nose, and a thin expressionless line for a mouth. It's there for only a moment and then gone. Of course, this could also just be a random rock formation that just happens to somewhat look like a face. 
I will say that the eye looks extremely realistic above all else. That does look very realistic. I can definitely see how if you were down there in those really tight claustrophobic conditions and it's all dark and wet and humid down there and you're having trouble seeing, and I'm sure if you came across something like that, you would definitely think it's some sort of creature or reptile. However, I do think it is most likely some sort of rock formation just because he is literally surrounded by rocks and maybe what's happening is that the light is reflecting off of them and making him think it's an eyeball when it's really just like a wet rock or something. But I would love to know in the comments what you guys think. Bill Ryan is the leader of Project Camelot, an underground organization tirelessly attempting to uncover secrets on everything, from alien life forms to time control. Since Project Camelot encourages members of top secret government organizations to blow the whistle on the most sensitive of state secrets, you can only imagine how many people want Bill Ryan gone. That's what makes this interview so creepy. While Bill Ryan calmly explains the inner workings of Project Camelot, a shadowy figure silently leans into the camera shot multiple times. That you can get kind of caught up in these questions forever and a day and never come out of that. Some people believe that this is a shadow messenger warning others not to come forward with their secrets. Other people think that this is a sign of constant surveillance on Bill Ryan because of what he knows. I personally think it just might be the reflection of a cameraman's arm. But let me know what you think is going on with this strange background figure. I'll admit, at the very beginning, it definitely did freak me out. But I just feel like if the government was really after him and surveilling him, we definitely would not be able to tell or see it in the back of some interview. I don't know, I just feel like the freaking government would not expose themselves this easily. So most likely, it is just like the cameraman's arm or something. Either way though, I still would be very concerned for this man's well-being, considering he is talking so much about conspiracy theories and exposing everything. A YouTuber named Richard 205 Maria believes that some kind of advanced life form is following his every move. So he sets up surveillance equipment around his house. He finds this strange creature flying around his yard at around 6 in the morning shortly thereafter. The glowing all white apparition looks relatively small and is so fast that the camera has a hard time capturing any details. We can vaguely see four humanoid limbs and perhaps a set of wings as well, though it's hard to tell for sure. It appears to fly head first with its arms stiffly sat at its sides, a strange characteristic for almost any creature of flight on this planet. I think there is a strong possibility that this could be CGI, but I can't eliminate the possibility of an insect, a reflection of light, or even otherworldly contact. To me, that fully looks like a freaking bird. I'm almost positive that what's happening in this video is that the sun is so freaking bright that it's overexposing the bird and making it look like it's like glowing or some sort of orb or something. I feel like you can clearly tell just by the shape that it's a bird. You can see the wings and the little things that I think he's confusing for legs, I genuinely think is just the bird's tail. So I don't know, in my opinion, I don't think he is being followed by anything supernatural or crazy. This video was taken in Miami, Florida during Hurricane Irma, which rocked the entire state in September of 2017. A YouTuber named Hollywood Scotty published this mayhem when he hears a booming roar and zooms in. It's hard to see anything due to the terrible weather, but he somehow manages to capture the gigantic black outline of a creature in the distance. The massive monster is apparently heading its way and appears to have huge limbs, almost like tentacles. There is a strong possibility that this is CGI, since something this big would have undoubtedly made the world news. On the other hand, large-scale events somehow go unreported all of the time. If this 
this was a gigantic creature just wreaking havoc on Miami, Florida, I can promise you, you would most definitely see it on the news. So I do think that it's pretty safe to say that what we're seeing in this video is potentially a really dark cloud, which definitely would make sense considering they're in the middle of a storm. I will, however, say that whatever that sound was, it was really freaking scary. Jason Nilsson and his friend are walking along a path of frozen ice in Utah when they come across some kind of creature colony the likes of which they have never seen before. They appear to have a squishy, loose form, yet they show little reaction when touched. Okay, touch it. Oh, did you see it? Slimy? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you stick or something. Gross. Gross. <laughs> oh, weird. What if it's like a disease? The giant circular patch of ice has hundreds of strangely shaped egg-like objects melting deep into the ice, but I can't tell if these are actual eggs or maybe even some kind of larva. Whatever it is, the tiny creatures are neatly lined up in creepy, nearly symmetrical rows and not moving. Maybe they are either frozen or worse, still waiting to hatch. Nobody in the comments section has been able to properly identify what these things are. Which makes me even more curious. I wonder if this really could be some sort of hatchery site for a rare species we have never seen before. Can you imagine being on a hike with your friend and running into something like that? Right off the bat, it makes you think that an alien came down and just laid eggs on Earth. But in reality, it probably is the eggs of some sort of animal that are still waiting to hatch. And I have to say, they are very bold for touching that with their bare hands. Whatever that is, it could potentially be poisonous or something along those lines. Either way, it is a very wild discovery and it's super cool that they filmed it. But alright you guys, we finally made it to the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Definitely let me know in the comments which creature scared you the most. To be honest with you guys, that one creature that was just crawling on all fours definitely takes the cake for the scariest in my opinion. But I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi my beautiful people, it's your girl Yana and I'm back today with yet another video. And let me tell you guys, today's video is about to get real spooky. Today we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of clips that are so scary, you're probably going to have nightmares. So if you guys are ready, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the video. A truck dash cam captures somebody scrambling across an unlit highway without a flashlight or any reflective clothing. A bad choice for sure. The truck is going too fast to do much of anything, but at 14 seconds, you can see the front hood dip a little as the driver slams on his brakes. Played frame by frame, the man only makes it to safety with one step to spare, leaving the trucker grabbing his chest with one of the scariest moments on his life caught on camera. Luckily, everyone was all right. I really hope this person realizes just how lucky they got because, oh my goodness, that truck came so close to them. I honestly have no idea what they were thinking crossing the road like that. There was absolutely no way that truck would have slowed down in time, and this could have ended a lot differently. This is some real life scary stuff. A woman gets onto an elevator, not knowing that this will probably be the last ride of her life. Almost as soon as the doors close, she starts feeling distressed and sways in place. She drops her bag and becomes so disoriented that she has to lean against the door for support. By the end of the ride, she is also clearly out of breath and in a completely different state of mind than just moments prior. She doesn't even pick her bag up as she stumbles out of the elevator into a lobby space. She staggers about halfway through the room before she becomes exhausted and slowly lowers herself face down onto the cold floor. She doesn't move for a long time and then something impossible happens. The elevator reclaims her. An unseen force grabs her foot and drags her back through the elevator's waiting doors. 
If anybody manages to recognize this hotel, please let me know where this occurred and what happened next because this video has me terrified. Okay, initially I was convinced we were watching someone having some sort of medical emergency on an elevator, but no, there was actually a demonic freaking force on that elevator. Did you see the way that she got dragged back inside? This one definitely took quite a turn and I would absolutely love to know the name of this hotel so I can avoid it as much as I can. A barbecue party is cut short when a hawk scoops a snake out of the grass. You might be wondering how that could be enough to stop a barbecue, and it's not. But what happens next is... Oh, you didn't the snake somehow gets away unharmed, but I think the whole incident could be special effects. The hawk doesn't really have any reason to drop the snake, and I don't think it would fly so low to a group of people when there are plenty of other nearby trees to take its meal snake to. Also, hawks have razor-sharp talons, yet this snake seems visibly intact as it gets away. Then again, maybe I just don't want for this to actually be real. Wow, this is a terrifying situation. Me personally, I am way more scared of that gigantic bird than I am of the snake. However, I really do highly doubt that the hawk would drop the snake over a bunch of people. I mean, that's its dinner. It's not just gonna drop it. I'm not too sure if this is real or not, but I do know that this would really be scary if it had actually happened. And let me tell you, that snake has quite a story to tell. None of its snake friends are gonna believe it. Ill Sight is a channel that bends all of the rules, and that's why it might be too much for you to handle. They scale the crane in Hong Kong just in time to see the sun come up. As they grab yellow bar after yellow bar, Ill Sight hears a pop from above and prepares himself for the worst. Whoa, whoa. Under a thin coat of paint is a ladder rung brittle with rust that snaps under his friend's weight. And if one section of the ladder is like this, the rest probably isn't much better. The upper portions are even more weather beaten, and at 6 minutes and 41 seconds, his hands are covered in rust. They spend some time getting a few shots at the top, and then they have to do it all over again on the way down, this time without the luxury of seeing where the rusty spots are before stepping on them. I don't think I could ever do something like this, because I have a fear of heights. Even watching this video is frightening for me. I can't really tell if they have any harnesses or not, but regardless, this is an insanely ridiculous thing to do. I've definitely seen videos like this before where people climb insanely tall cranes or like structures in the middle of nowhere. I personally cannot see myself doing something like this, nor do I understand why anybody would ever want to. I just feel like the risk is really not worth the reward here. I'll admit that it looks absolutely gorgeous when they get all the way to the top. I would just prefer that they did it in a safe way. Look straight ahead and tell me if you can see anything in the water. I couldn't at first, but Matt certainly can. I had to paddle away from him. Oh, he's coming towards me. Swimming up to Matt is one of the oldest predators on Earth, something that could easily grab an overhanging limb and drag you straight under. The curious alligator carves a direct path to Matt's boat to try and test out its potential prey. If Matt panics and flips his boat here, I have little doubt that the alligator would make a quick meal out of him in seconds while floating and exposed. Back the f up. Instead, Matt keeps his calm and paddles a short distance to the shore. Even then, Matt stays put and doesn't dare exit, and for good reason. The alligator patiently waits like it knows he has to get out eventually, which makes me wonder if it has learned this trick from a previous experience. Matt turns off the camera because he knows he might be seconds away from fending off the alligator with his paddle. We don't get to see how this one ends, so you'll have to ask him how he got out alive. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that because we're seeing this video, he managed to get out completely safe. However, I cannot even imagine the fear and panic that you would feel in this situation. Being alone in the middle of the water with a freaking alligator just staring you down. You can absolutely tell this thing was on the hunt. I would be scared to stay still, but I would also be scared to move because I wouldn't want it like chasing me and I definitely would not want to flip myself over. That would not be good. This 90s family vacation video from the Grand Canyon shows Casey here who is determined to enjoy the view on his own terms. Casey's sister is poking her foot in a hole and then without warning here comes Casey. 
No, it changes from there. All the seeds. <laughs> Casey, Casey. <gasps> His mother watches in horror as the boy runs towards the hole with an unbalanced waddle of a toddler, and the section of fence that would have caught appears to have broken off long ago. I'm not sure if he was definitely going to fall off. According to the description, Casey's dad rushed forward and saved his kin in the last second. He looks like he is standing too far away to do anything, but I guess he's really only a few adrenaline-fueled steps away. The way my heart literally dropped into my stomach when he started running towards the railing, which, by the way, why is a part of the railing missing? I mean, we're not talking about a tiny little ditch here. This is a ginormous fall, insanely dangerous, insanely terrifying. You can tell that dad went into dad mode super quick and grabbed him and just, like, pulled him out of the way. I would definitely be staying a couple of feet away from these big freaking drops. I do not know how they're so comfortable chilling so close to the edge. Your girl could never. A YouTuber named Music is Win is looking for inspiration to play the guitar, so he decides to go on the roof to put things into a new perspective. I don't know if it made him any better at guitar, but after what happened next, it might give him a newfound appreciation for life. <laughs> His foot gets caught on something we can't see, but I think it was a shingle because they stick up just high enough to catch a shoe. He gets up and recovers with an awesome guitar solo, and I'm glad he did because gravel, rock, and wood doesn't make for a comfortable landing. Once again, what the hell were you even thinking? I mean, I know he thought it would be like a really cool angle to see himself playing guitar on the roof, but like, is it really that serious? Do you really need to be putting yourself in that much danger? You very well could done the same exact thing just sitting down in front of the camera and playing your guitar but no you had to get up on the freaking roof and look what happened thankfully it didn't end as badly as it could have and i bet you he is not going on any roofs anytime soon youtube has a real problem with challenges and here's why one of the earliest trends was to try and swallow a mouthful of cinnamon with no water just watch what happens to zoe boy's ent i feel like i need to tell you that doing this could end your life they can't hold it in and the dust starts flying. And that's when airways get clogged. <coughs> One of them is able to laugh it off, but the other begins to gag and sputter as he becomes unable to breathe. Listen to the sound of air rush back into his lungs. <coughs> 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 Thankfully, he's all right, but that was a close one. I myself was always way too scared to try the cinnamon challenge. I'm also not really the biggest fan of cinnamon, especially not in those insane quantities. Like, that is just a way too much cinnamon for anyone to be consuming. Not to mention, once you inhale all that powder, your airways are gonna get clogged. These internet challenges really need to calm down. A YouTuber named Silent X Snails is having a bad day on his way to work that's about to get worse. First, he drops his phone on the high highway and then a simple mistake almost takes his life i want to know who you think was at fault here silent x snails is trying to drive between the cars called lane splitting which is legal where he lives in california the driver doesn't have their turn single on way in advance so i guess silent x snails must have missed it because he doesn't seem to slow down he does come out from behind this flatbed truck so i can understand why the driver didn't see him but at the same time, I think they should have double checked their side mirror before changing lanes to avoid this exact kind of scenario. I know this is perfectly legal to do in the state of California, but I personally freaking hate lane splitting. Just because as a driver of a regular car, it's really anxiety inducing to see bikers just like sending it in between lanes, in between cars. I have seen so many near misses on the road because of this. I just think it is such a stupid freaking thing to be doing. I mean, considering that the driver had their blinker on and was signaling for quite a while. I don't see how they're at any fault. But then again, if this is completely legal in that state, then the biker is also not at fault. A monster wearing street clothes keeps its head low, but long talons give away its non-human appearance. It unsuccessfully tries to hide its hands when it sees the camera. When the person recording encounters it again, this time in the light, 
Its feet are normal looking, which is strange when its hands were so deformed. It's probably a costume. When I first came across these clips, it was when I was watching a top 10 list about witches. I thought something about it, mostly the camera work and the lighting, looked a little too professional. So I did some digging and found the source. This is from a short horror film called The Moonlight Man. If you've ever seen this video on another channel and thought it was real, it's not and now you know it's true source. I was gonna say it definitely looks a little bit costumey, especially because their hands don't match their feet whatsoever. I will say though, it is definitely super, super creepy, especially in the first clip where you can only see the silhouette. That part definitely gave me full body chills. But all right, you guys, we finally made it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Let me know in the comments which clip scared you the most. I have to admit that alligator incident was really terrifying just because these things can definitely happen and I cannot imagine being in that type of situation. Being chased by a freaking alligator? Are you kidding me? I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!